Good morning. May the Holy Spirit come upon all of you in the name of the Lord Jesus, upon your house. God, God is family. God, did you know that God is family? God is Father. God is Son and Holy Spirit. So, God is family and He wants the best for our family. The best. It was Him who established the family, created the family. The family is the most sacred institution on the face of the earth. A family is the most sacred institution on the face of the earth. It is so sacred, so sacred, that before, when there were no churches or synagogues, there were no churches. So, the father, let's say, he was the bishop, the pastor of his own family. Amen, friends? The house of the person was the church. If you read the book of Job, and perhaps you have already done so, the text says that Job would present sacrifices for his children. Job would sacrifice. He was a priest in his own house for his own family. And this is so important, this is so great, that the father, the patriarch, the father, the priest, he had to be considered after God, it was him and, and the mother, which would establish a home, a family. And there is more. Just for you to have an idea of what, it, what family means and how God sees the family. Your, mine, our family. In the commandment of God's law, it says that the children have to respect the father and the mother in order for these children they may be able to have long life on earth. Did you know that? Yes or no? It's one of the Ten Commandments. By the way, it's, it's a commandment from God with a promise. For whom? For the children. The child that honors their father and their mother, for sure will have a long life on earth. So you see, for example, when a young person passes away before the due time, they die at a young age, for sure there is this honor towards their parents involved there. Why? Because the father was the priest. And the mother, obviously, with the father were one, one body. So both were one body. And they had authority over the children. And more, there's more. The authority of the parents was so great, or it still is, not was, is so great, so great, but so great, that if the father or the mother says to their child like this, oh, you are doing this wrong, you are doing this towards me, you are going to pay the price later on. Your children will certainly do worse towards you. So when a mother or father puts a curse upon their child, this is it. The child will be cursed. 
because they have authority to do so. If the father or the mother have nothing to do with God, they don't even believe in God, even still they have authority over their children. So you can verify now why many people suffer in this world, but they are really groaning and they don't even know why. Oh, it's bad luck, or someone was jealous of me, or they put a curse on me, and they did a work of witchcraft. No, it's not that. What happened is that there was no respect towards their parents, and obviously the person curses themselves. They curse themselves. When Jesus came, and gave his life on Calvary, then he broke, he removed the curse from those that believe in him. Not from everyone, but from those who believe in him. If everybody believed in him, then there would be no more curse. But not everyone believes. But those who believe and follow the Lord Jesus, then these are no longer cursed the curse was already broken. If you believe in God or not, but if you are a mother, you are a father, you have God's authority upon your children. Whether you believe in God or not, it doesn't mean anything. If you are a mother, a father, it doesn't matter. You have authority upon your children. If you are a person that has many children, you have many wives or, or a wife that lived a crazy life and had many children with other men and so on, still you have authority upon all of the children that you gave birth to, whether you are the mother or the father. You have authority. And if you curse them, they will be cursed. So sometimes the, the woman when they are pregnant and they didn't want to get pregnant, then they cursed that child already in, in, in her womb. Then that child will be born cursed because the mother has authority to do so. It's not witchcraft. It's not a, a, a work of witchcraft. It's not envy, jealousy. No, it's the person themselves. Pay attention to your authority, even if your life is worse, the worst of all in this world. If you are a mother, you have authority upon your child. If you are a father, you have authority to either bless or curse your children. This is the reality. God respects your authority, even if you don't believe in Him. And if you bless your child, your son, your daughter, they will be blessed. Even more than the pastor. If I bless you, but you, Father, curse your child, then you have more authority than I do in your own house. Because you are the one who gave birth to that child. Amen? You, Father, you, Mother, you have authority upon your children. Now imagine if you join your authority with ours in the name of the Lord Jesus. Because God has given us authority. We who preach the word of God, we do so under His authority. Isn't it right? We are ambassadors of His to preach the gospel, to teach His word. So we have authority. God's authority. You have the authority, natu a natural authority. We have the authority that comes from God. If we join our faith, you who are a mother, a father, you join with me, with us, in order to bless your children. Now, I, I ask you, which curse will remain in their life? None, ever, from now on. Amen? In the name of the Lord Jesus, my Father, right now, 
in agreement with these parents, we bless their children, our children, wherever they are in this very moment. It does not matter wherever it is that they are, we stretch out our hands upon them as if our hands were your own hands, my father, and we bless our children. And may this blessing from you be upon all of them. May the Lord bless you, my son, my daughter, and keep you. May the Lord shine His face upon you and be merciful towards you. May the Lord give you peace from today and forevermore. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen, and thank God.